radio started preparing to go on air from about June 1992. I remember there was a partial eclipse of the sun that time. As a community access radio station, the people, the direction, and the content came from the communities and organizations of Greater Cape Town. Our trainee producers, or networkers as we call them, came from a wide cross-section of people as well. We had to apply for a license to go on air, but given the old apartheid radio law, we didn't even think it would be easy. As we prepared to go on air, on I think it was August 1st, 1992, there was that horrible slaughter of innocent people in Boy Patong in the Transvaal. Some of our networkers covered a memorial service held in Cape Town at St. George's Cathedral. <laughs> that the martyrs of Boy Patong, although dead and buried today, are rising again in the hearts of all South Africans who continue to struggle to sacrifice for democracy and freedom, for peace and for life. Now if I get there before you, come and for a change. Radio network has prepared a range of pre-recorded programs for the first test transmission. In the end, we didn't actually switch on because we felt we needed more preparation. What we did was a simulated switch on. Bush Radio people were on all kinds of platforms, like the National Television Association. It was just commercial producers wanting to know more about Bush Radio. For me, what's most important about Bush Radio is to start getting out there into, into the communities. And the only way you're going to do that is to give those communities access to the airwaves. And that, for me, is what Bush Radio is also about. It's also the biggest challenge, I think. Who declared the Nationalist Party? Late in 1992, there were rallies all over the country to occupy the cities. In Cape Town itself, thousands of people marched through the streets with echoes of a very similar march hap that happened three decades earlier following the Sharpeville massacre. I 
never thought I'd see this day. And it's, it's the happiest day of my life. The happiest day of my life. I never thought my grandchildren would see they'll be free one day. Do you feel that, 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 that the government will respond to this matter? They should. They will. And we'll force them to do it. It's obviously an emotional moment for you. To me, it's like heaven. I fought with, against them since I was a youth, and I never thought we would win until today. And I'm glad we are winning. We want them to change now. They said it's New South Africa, but now it's old rules. We don't want the New South Africa the old rules. No, man. What do you think? Uh, sorry, Mr. Zika promised by New South Africa by lips. He don't want to do. I don't know why. Because they know what's the main thing that people they need in this country. But he don't want to give them. Thank you. Bush Radio works in a range of communities in Cape Town. With us not having a license and also wanting to do real participatory radio, we did what was called a field radio broadcast in Mitchell's Plain Town Square, using loudspeakers on top of a caravan. The people loved it. Have your voice heard. It's one way of doing it. So come to the caravan if you have anything at all to say about you and your community. Bush Radio is radio for you, for you and for me. It's a radio owned and controlled by our communities. So Mitchell's Plain can have its own radio station. Kailicho can have its own radio station. It's a radio station that is owned and controlled by the community of its listeners. I'm part of the community and you are part of that community. And that's what community radio is about. And this is uh, Bush Radio, the community radio, the people for the people, the people's voice by the people with the voices. So listen up, right now we've got um, a guest that came out of the crowd where you are right now. I'm interested in community radio because it gives me and everybody here outside a chance to speak and to say what they want. Ons kan vir ander rei om gangsters te word, maar ons kan vir ander rei om gangsters soos Robin Hood te wees, the prince of thieves, Rob van die wat het, Rob van die boere, en bring het na gam toe, dankie. Here's Asher D and Daddy, Freddy is getting you down on a ragamuffin step, this is Community Radio. Given that you were on air and you, you had a chance of what it feels like and uh, you've been here for a while since we've been broadcasting, what do you think the potential is for a community-based radio station in Mitchell's Plain? The community radio can promote the people's um, ideas, the people's dreams, the things which they want to say but they can't say it on a nationalized TV uh, or nationalized radio or something like that, then they can come to the uh, community radio and the community radio will certainly give them a chance to say what they want to say. For us was it something interesting to hear that that uh, Bush Radio is in what belongs to the Mitchell's Plain. Because we Mitchell's Plain work, it was feel that our people in Mitchell's Plain were always afraid of the poor. Ons was in stok met sy boksie huisies opgesik aan tafelsig in East Street, in Portland en in West Street was ons in die klein huisies ingesik maar as ons ons op een radiostasie kan doen mense luister elke dag die radio, mense luister Goodo, Metro, Alley en as ons een radiostasie van Mietselsplein kan kry dan kan mense van Mietselsplein en Walwerak in die radiostasie van Mietselsplein ek sê baie dankie aan die mense van Boos Radio from Community Radio and Bush Radio, tell it like it is radio, be yourself radio. I'm out here like a rocketeer, saying peace, take you all later. Here's a track, and this the bus, take ya. I think Bob was great, he's a natural. 
I don't yeah. know what? The most important thing for me is that, you know, they didn't steal Farah's Ray-Bans. I mean, that stuff is so expensive. <laughs> and this is Mitchell's Plain Town Center. And, I mean, really, you've got to, you've got to watch your rings, your earrings, and everything. Was it easy for you when you were in there, I mean, coping with how many people come in and, like, making sure that the mic's okay? I saw you handle that quite well. Just given the mixture of people that we had coming in, the amount of time that we have didn't have enough time for all the people. There's still like four or five people sitting out there waiting to have themselves, you know, give, waiting to have an opportunity to talk. All in all, I think we did something. Uh, what we wanted to achieve at the end of the day was to have people, you know, talking about their community and which thing I think we did achieve. I and don't know also, how we feel about and that. And also people talking about community radio. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of people, That's man, right. they'd never sussed this idea before. Yeah. They said, what a good idea, you know? That's and right. I mean, I think we've got that kind yeah. of discussion happening around community radio. Yeah. So, I mean, from that point of view, I think it was quite successful. Yeah, it could have been a lot better. And I was not sure of what do we, what languages do we sort of build in in the whole thing, I mean, and what, for what purpose, you know, yeah. until, you know, some people complain that you should have, you know, Kosa as well, because there are Kosa speaking people, and they are. I was quite grappling with that, you know, um, uh, I think we still have to plan it. The government tried to unilaterally restructure the SABC, but there was a lot of resistance. There were protests all over the country. In Cape Town, Bush Radio Networkers and our trustees joined a demonstration at the Seapoint Studios of SABC. peaceful demonstration and I find the, the number of policemen here quite Im intimidation. Yes. I don't have permission. You must have permission. And uh, if you have permission, you must please. Is we establishing a fundamental principle, the right to express yourself, you know, and we're not interfering. If, if we were going to have a thousand people in March, then it would have been a different story, you know, but we're a small group of people, we're demonstrating here, you know, what we, what we believe is right, yeah. you know, and establishing yeah, and broadening the base of subservience. I don't think it's, it's a form of subservience when you, when you inform people that what you're going to do. You're giving notice of what you intend doing and they can do what they like about it. It's uh, uh, just communication. Yeah. Of course, this is what we're all about, communicating, isn't it? Yeah. To all and sundry, to the enemy as well. But I think the most important communication is to the people out there, to the public out there, the people who should realize that they have a right to these things. Many people have lived so many years under the oppressive system, don't realize they have a right to free broadcasting. Yeah. And this is the message we should be getting through. Yeah. We are expressing our anger and our views against this unilateral restructuring of SABC by FW Declerc. Bush Radio with other community radio stations um, will be um, allowing a space for the community people to express their views on air and the voice of, of the people therefore is going to be heard through community radio stations. <laughs> What we would do is we'll be telling people about things, events that are happening in the community. If, for example, Rape Crisis would like to talk about an issue yeah. that's yeah. prevalent to the and important for the community or something that's just happened, mm -hmm. it can be a news item or it can be a feature mm -hmm. that one of them come here and do the production here with us and in that way they also learn. Okay. They also pick up radio skills. Yeah. Okay. So they have access to come and use our studio and that kind of thing. It's a reciprocal relationship. They come here and they gain skills. We don't charge them for training as well, so they get free skills, they learn skills, they get access to, to the studio, mm -hmm. and they also go out and make programs of their choice. They decide on the kind of programs they want to do because it's community radio and it's access radio.
Well, we got a guy from, down from Joburg to come and help us set up the transmitter and so on because nobody had that kind of know-how. Uh, and the people around here who've got that kind of know-how uh, seem to have a problem working with us because we're illegal. The Community Radio Project is basically about the fact that broadcasting in South Africa has been wholly controlled by the government virtually since it started in the 1930s. Nobody's really had a chance to, uh, to get on the air, and certainly not uh, the vast majority of people in South Africa haven't been, able to be, been allowed to vote. We feel that it's very important that the broadcast media get used in a constructive way for the development of South Africa. It is a uniquely powerful medium and accessible medium, and we need to be able to use it in a wholehearted way. Our intention is not really to challenge the SABC. We could never do that. We don't have the capacity to do that. The SABC must be transformed. It must be democratized. But that would never take away the need for communities to have a voice for themselves. Bush Radio decided to go on air on Sunday, April 25th, 1993. But the government was making it very difficult. Anyway, the technical wizards got down to some really serious business, setting up aerials and the transmitter. Can I come in through? Hello? I hear it, but it's not loud. Yeah, it's there. Fantastic, it's there. Okay. Yeah, take it to about zero on the mixer, to about zero. While we were preparing for the test transmission over the Easter weekend, Chris Harney was assassinated in Boxburg. By who? We're talking about is trying to do something Sunday. What, this Sunday? We're breaking around and talking about that, but that yeah, happened last night. Well, we'll be able to put it on. You are listening to your favorite radio station, Bush Radio. We're coming on air live for the first time. And uh, we cannot forget to mention the fact that uh, this is a special uh, dedication, or not a special dedication, but uh, we'll leave uh, this hour or so to Chris Sani in the memory of Chris Sani and a tra tragedy that happened this morning. It's difficult for me to say because uh, it's getting me from its heart. This is Bush Radio. The test transmission went okay, but the people who were listening said they got a sort of a hum on the receiver, so we did some frantic last minute sorting out. First, they had to resolder some contacts in the transmitter, and we also had to check out some legal angles. Right, but in addition to that, John, you know, which is probably a more important area right now, is the question of libel insurance, man, uh, regarding, like, you know, character assassinations and all that kind of stuff. If someone makes a slip up like that. This is all 30 seconds, all three pieces. So if there's three vox poppers, it can be used in three different programs. There's no problem with that. People in the streets say they're interested in the radio. So while you're dealing with what is given in history, those and it stays in the people's mind, but really there's a lot of support for mm -hmm. community radio. Mm -hmm. Which means that yeah, it's actually not it. much trouble. It's not much trouble. The signature must we be must the same. We must find something that we like then. Yes, but it must go for all programs, for all networkers, for everybody who comes in. Because that will be the Bush radio signature. Uh, so why don't you just push radio 104 FM and then... No, but that's what I'm saying. That you do when you go on. You might change that. There's a difference between the signature tune and introduce You can do it a hundred different ways. You can oh, tape yeah. her and say... There's yeah. always one tune for the whole radio. Then there yeah. is a separate tune for, for anybody that got there. The three hours. That's from jingle. Can I just... Uh, everybody was happy with that. Yes. Sorry. 
Um, the Sunday Times, I think they're almost here. They'll be here just now. They want to do a little photograph because they're doing a feature for Sunday. Yes, this will be in there within another couple of minutes. Okay. I'll see. Let's see. All right, we're good. Let's see. Come and see. All right, see. That's fine. Roll it. That will basically be our broadcast studio. We have. I mean, you don't always have everything you need. We have the basic equipment that will put us on air, and uh, it's not state of the art. Okay, let's put it that way. It's not state of the art, but it's basic equipment, and it's good equipment. It's it's totally different to any other kind of radio. Uh -huh. You know, it's purely it's access radio. Uh -huh. It's free for all. We'll be promoting more and more, almost all of the time, local music. We'll be pushing local music as much as we can, and also lots of indigenous music, ethnic and indigenous music from all around the world. Okay. Music that often doesn't get airplay. The final preparations for going on air included tweaking the transmitter and the aerials a bit so that we could get a perfect sound out of them. We had a microwave link from Bush Radio to the main transmitter, which was set up down the road on the roof of Industrial House, which is owned by one of the trade unions. At last, the great day dawned. Bush Radio networkers, staff, trustees, friends, volunteers, and even some of their children converged on the studio for our first broadcast. I can say I feel ready, and um, I think the time that we've all been waiting for and the time that we've been working, we've, at least we've worked so hard to get to this point. And uh, at least, yeah, we are ready to go on air. We are ready. I'm really excited. I mean, after two years of talking, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm very excited. It's really nice. So, what can happen simply is that we can just leave an instruction with the security that if the police insist on getting into the building, they call us here and we can coordinate everything from here. Okay. 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 But together that, do best what you can inside. It's four o'clock and this is Bush Radio. Mama. 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 We are filming the e-waves. I'm Taslima, Bush Radio Networker, and along with John, we will be taking you through um, to 6 o'clock. Um, we have a good coffee show from Kusatu. We expect that the SABC will be able to get from the radio. But the people are able to get from the good propaganda. And Bush Radio is the radio that now to the people. That's the Rofie, Montego, Kukuletu, and Kaya Lija. I just want to congratulate Bush Radio on a very brave step into the future of South one Africa. Moment, one moment. Is that six, 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 six? Yeah. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, 
I hope that for a change we have a lot of power just is thrown over the air. Um, a lot of writers outside are very excited about the program, hoping that they'll be able to get an air, lots of poetry, lots of short stories and stuff getting on air for a change on South African airwaves. Lots of congratulations for Bush Radio on this wonderful occasion. Amaza! Which means <laughs> waves. <laughs> that Bush Radio is a radio that actually speaks many languages and that in some ways will actually help with, with breaking down the barriers. They give out their full support to Bush Radio and will follow our progress with great interest. And that's what from here to the clerk. Yeah, telephones that keep on coming. I hope those are the messages of support. And without wasting any time, uh, I think that what, what do I do? Yeah. Do I play music? Do I listen to, to Taslima? Do I talk? Can I do, that's what I like about Bush Radio. So see, that's what I like about community radio. You can do whatever you feel like doing. For instance, I'm going to keep quiet for a minute. Uh, I found it in some ways very frustrating. I, th I think I expected a bit more out of it, like personally. Um, I feel as if I was a studio guest, yeah. And then in the last few minutes, it actually just, the whole script just went down. Basically, I was a studio guest, and in, in some ways, the program that we actually did on Pushy Guys, it's on, it was very relevant for the hour. It was the first step, and we made some few mistakes, and I think in the, in the future, we'll be able to just uh, know what to, how to deal with these uh, mistakes. Jumela, nako eke ura yabu supa, oreliza manane ona a Bush Radio. This is the first time I've been on air now for information and can you believe that we really finally made it? I can't believe it to go far, but we're here at last and that's what Bush Radio is all about. It's yours. It's mine. And it's ours. It's ours. You're tuned in to FM 104 and this is the final hour of Bush Radio's very first broadcast. Going on for those of you who can't possibly switch off the radio and tune in next weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Erection, maintenance, position, or sign of radio apparatus for the art permit or license is prohibited. Okay. No person shall have in his possession any radio apparatus unless he is in possession of a permit issued. The case of a television set, blah, 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 blah. Once you found out all that information, what, what will you do? Well, uh, if they haven't got the legal uh, license or permit to operate on it, we'll have to see them. That's the case of that. When tonight? Whenever, yes. And uh, how do you feel about doing this job? <laughs> That's not the last question. <laughs> I like my job. <laughs> Are you going to give me permission to go into the apparatus room to close it down? Yeah. Um, probably not without authority. But I, uh, yeah, we, okay. We, 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 have we have the authority. authority. Well, let's see what pans out between like okay. now and the end of the week. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. actually now what they're actually doing is it's what you mm -hmm. wanted isn't it i mean you knew it was going to happen Everybody sooner or later so it just happened so it yeah. just happened sooner isn't it that's, yeah. that, that, that's the stupidest way for them to, no. uh, to mind it's, it's so but early for them knew. to come here but they're just doing the usual trying to silence the people and and i mean and now people talk about uh, wanting to hide the transmitter away and things. I mean, we're just playing to the hands. They want us to, uh, to to close down and things. And now we want to go hide our transmitters away and to close up the place and things. But I mean, that's what they want. They want us to to to, to shut up and 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 things. And uh, I don't know. Uh, B and T. Do you want to be inspect your equipment? We've now been by instructed by the Postmaster General to close the radio station down. Well, he's going to write to do so. Yeah. 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 Ye
Pardon? She's got no right to do so. He's got no right, right to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Well, I mean, you must go and check out the law first. Uh, can I show you the law? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to challenge this. Sorry, you're challenging this. Wait on, Mala. Take money, Dr. Doctor. Doctor. Sir, Lieutenant. Excuse me. Lieutenant. Sir, you're kicking me. You're kicking me. You're kicking me. Okay, I'm sorry. That's an assault. I'm sorry. You people are acting illegally. Well, that's what you say. Yeah. That's not what my boss says. We just want to get that inspect that the post office wants to inspect. That's an exhibit until the court tells us otherwise. Uh, a case will be made against. No, no, but uh, are you taking it? Uh, yes, sir, sir, no, are, are you taking it? Yes. If they touched me, I would have really got down to serious business with them. I think I would have fought with them if they had to touch me. It's basically a question of them saying that we will stay in control of this country. They talk about democracy, but this is what democracy gives up at the end of the day, telling you to keep quiet and they will do the speaking. Who is the people that show the understation? The government, the authorities. The authorities? They said your voice is illegal. My voice is illegal. Only they can speak on the station. Oh! They're banning you again. They're banning me again. Back to the old system, apartheid. Exactly. We're still in apartheid. What do you think about that, Colin? What do you think about that? We can't go back into the past. We must look for the future. Who's radio? Thank you. 